Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first, I, I want to thank everybody for coming here today, and it's quite the honor to be able to celebrate this economic development success that started a few years back. And uh, be here to celebrate today with the county commissioners and the SBA is, is, is again a great honor for Fidelity Bank, uh, Community Bank lo located here in Lackawanna County. And uh, really this program has been a, a tremendous success and, and I really give the county commissioners a lot of credit uh, to, uh, to take a stance with this economic development effort uh, to really kind of go out on the limit and really be innovative here. Um, it really give them a lot of credit. And when you think about the success here and how this got started was uh, a few years ago, the county commissioners came to Fidelity Bank in asking for some input on in economic development. And, it, and Tim O'Brien, who's standing to my left, had a very innovative idea here. Um, and he said, let's really talk about small businesses, the heartline of this community, and, and how do we kind of create, create momentum moving forward. And uh, Tim had the idea of uh, helping with the SBA program and really funding the fees on behalf of the uh, the borrowers and uh, again the county commissioners really had the the guts to, to step to the plate and, and and move that program forward today and, and when you think about all the successes that have been created uh, we've, we've funded over 75 businesses today in this program it's it's sustained and created a hundred and uh, I'm sorry 1500 jobs here in Lackawanna County and, um, and also put over $50 million of capital back into this community over the life of this program. And, and again, it's been a tremendous, tremendous success. And, and, I, and I, I really do commend the county commissioners to continue to, to move this program forward and to, to be the success it is today. So, Tim, I don't know if there's anything more you'd like to say. Uh, again, uh, just to reiterate what uh, Dan said, you know, the commissioners and SBA deserve a round of applause. But what I would like to do today is just recognize one individual by the name of, I call him Max. Max, if you could come up for one second. So Max has been involved in SBA in getting things done with the least amount of hassle. And more than anyone I've ever dealt with in my career, and I've been in banking 50 years, he is absolutely number one. So I wanted to formally thank you that and just say happy holidays. And thank you. we all deserve a, a, a round of applause for you. Thank you, Max. Again, now I'd like to turn the floor over to our county commissioner. So, so Pat. I would like to thank the SBA for coming in today. All your representatives, which really appreciate on behalf of the 214,000 citizens, we welcome you to Lackawanna County, and especially our partners for Fidelity Bank, uh, Tim and Dan. Um, this wouldn't have happened if you don't have partners. Everything works with a partnership. That easel up there represents the 75 businesses that came forward and received the uh, waiver. And I remember being a business back in 2008. We had just had a horrible fire. Business was burned to the ground, and we couldn't find a way to get a break. And there was nothing like this available at that time. We made our way. But if we had an opportunity and this waiver had been enforced back in 2008, we would have absolutely taken advantage of it because it would have given us an opportunity for stocking our shelves, getting prepared for the different things that we would have had that we didn't have an opportunity to utilize extra money on to move our business forward or some of the things we held back on. And that's what happens with a lot of small businesses. And a lot of people don't realize sometimes that little bit of extra money, that situation, may be the difference between you having that business and not having that business or making that business larger or bringing more employees on and to be part of it matters so much back in 2012 you know this started as an idea in 2013 it became a reality and those 75 businesses are the realities each one of those businesses are the heart have a heart and soul to them they're real businesses that give back to Lackawanna County and employ in Lackawanna County. And some of the numbers, which I think are great, are like, um, it's six years later, 75 projects still growing strong, 1,171 jobs were retained, 429 created. We funded 
$835,187. But the number that really is amazing is $44,977,367. Our the amount of loans leveraged by the waiver program. That's what's amazing to that. Now, not just that business or what that business is gonna do, but the work that went on to, to build that business, the jobs that came out of that, the reconstruction, the actual building being built, the opportunity of a refurb, the opportunity of maybe being an extension to their building, those things, I mean, you can't even really put a number on those. But this is something that's not anywhere else, but it's in Lackawanna County. And it's due to the fact that some innovative commissioners and a bank called Fidelity got together and started a partnership. I would be, I have to bring up the two other commissioners' names. Former Commissioner Corey O'Brien and Jim Wansack were the two of the commissioners that were at the forefront. It mattered and it matters to this day. This is great job creation, and it's just a great impact for the citizens of Lackawanna County. At this time, I'd like to introduce Commissioner Cummings for some comments. Uh, well, thank you, Commissioner um, and uh, Commissioner Nateriani for holding this conference today. Um, I appreciate the work that uh, the local banks are doing to help our businesses. Thank you very much. I credit you with um, really making this happen since you're making it eligible for small businesses in our region. Um, I do appreciate the fact that commissioners did implement the program. Um, and uh, I hope that uh, I get to look into it further to see if there's anything more we can expand on in this program because there's some areas that I was looking at that I think we can even make it a little bit better. Thank you, everyone. At this time, I'd like to, get to introduce Commissioner Terriani. Uh, to reiterate, thank you all very much again on the SBA for yeah. their for their support. Uh, the uh, idea of. Tim O'Brien and Fidelity Bank and Dan Sanrello for, for bringing this forward and all the other lenders that are involved in it. Uh, Commissioner Wansack and O'Brien were at the forefront of it with Tim. Uh, I think it would be remiss in not mentioning uh, our economic uh, staff uh, led by George Kelly and his team and thanking them for working very hard on this project. Uh, and project over the years and we have continued to fund it and we plan to continue to do that going forward and thank you all very much again at this time I'd like to introduce Mike Kane deputy director for a few comments good afternoon it's an absolute pleasure uh, to be here in Lackawanna County and uh, and coming back to Scranton. Uh, I've been here, you know, several times over the course of my career, and it's always a pleasure to come here. Uh, my, as uh, as uh, Commissioner O'Malley said, my name is Michael Kane. I serve as Deputy Director uh, for the U.S. Small Business Administration here in Eastern Pennsylvania. Um, we are the federal agency that is tasked with assisting small businesses. So, um, learning more about this program um, uh, has been uh, fantastic. And, and it's great uh, to see how Lackawanna County is promoting small business economic growth throughout the county with a particular program like this. Um, SBA, as I said, is the only federal agency that's dedicated to helping small business because small business really is the engine of the U.S. economy. Small businesses employ nearly half the employees in the U.S. and here in Pennsylvania employ two and a half million people, which is almost half the workforce. We need to support small business. All right, and, uh, and it's great uh, to see a, a great program here uh, in Lackawanna County like this fee waiver program. Um, I heard a lot of talk about partnership and relationships and so forth from the commissioners, and, uh, and it's absolutely key to making resources and programs available to small business, and I'm very proud of the relationships that we have with our resource partners, and of course we have Small Business Development Center right here in, in the heart of Scranton. Um, we have uh, SCORE chapters and women's business centers across 
our district. We have our lending partners like Fidelity Bank, like the 504 company here in the back, um, as well as economic development organizations, counties, municipalities, and so forth. And we, I'm glad that we can all work together to support small business and to help create small business success. Uh, hearing about these 75 projects and looking through that list, it's absolutely fantastic. I can tell you that we're seeing great loan growth here in, in my district. Uh, we had our biggest year ever, fiscal year 18 ended on September 30th. $604 million worth of loans across Eastern Pennsylvania last year. We are incredibly proud of that. And we couldn't do that and put that kind of capital in the hands of small businesses without the partnerships that we have. So. With that, I'm going to say thank you. Thank you for inviting us out to participate. Thank you for all that you're doing to support small business. I'll hand it back over to Commissioner O'Malley. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Yep. I will do my best. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this, this came up, like I said, in 2012. We were trying to figure out different ways to how to ignite, to light up to move businesses forward, to create businesses. And Lackawanna County absolutely had the idea. And Fidelity Bank, like I said, partnered with Lackawanna County government to make it happen. And like I said, I'd just like to echo this, my sentiments before. I'd like to thank Corey O'Brien and Jim Wansack, the former commissioners. It was a pleasure to work with them. This was a great endeavor. And it's six, two, six years later, and we're still moving forward. I would have I happen to be reminisced without asking a good friend of ours and one of our directors to get up and say a few words and that's George Kelly from economic development to say a few words because when we get all these things set up we have to have them set up and George would investigate and look into these businesses and see what type of situation they were involved in George good afternoon everyone Economic development takes a community, and we see the partnerships have been highlighted today. Uh, 75 firms that we worked with since 2013, 1,600 people that have been helped by this program, uh, financial institutions working very closely, businesses that may not have been able to get a loan because of their startups or maybe a little higher risk than what the banks would tolerate. And this program is a key part of helping small businesses grow. And we're very pleased to be part of that, to be able to assist in that and to help small businesses, which are vital to our industry, economy, and communities. And I have to thank the commissioners again for funding this every year since 2013 when we first put the program out on the street and for their continued support. So thank you much, everyone involved in this. George, if anybody's interested, would you like to give the number for a department? Or? Uh, if anyone is interested in terms of a small business uh, fee waiver program, first talk to your bank. You want to talk to your bank and get them involved because we work closely with the banks. The second thing is once you're working with a bank or a financial institution, uh, they would usually work with us in the SBA, but you could also contact Economic Development Department of Lackawanna County. My email is kellyg at lackawannacounty.org. I can be reached at 570-963-6574. And we'll be glad to help answer any questions, as well as the other programs that we have as part of our economic development toolkit. Thank you. Thanks, Patrick. You know, ladies and gentlemen, there's 75 names in, of different businesses that were involved in the waiver program. And like I said, each one of those has a couple of partners, two partners, three partners, one partner. Um, the individual I'd like to bring up actually has done a lot for our community. He's actually taken two corners of our community and brought them back and has done incredible historical work on one building. And the building that actually that he got the waiver from is actually Posh, which is on Washington Avenue. But the other building that he is involved in is one of the owners is the Colonnade, which is a historical building in Lackawanna County. It's a jeweler community, and it was pretty close to be having the wrecking ball go through it until him and his partners came in and took it over, redeveloped it, and it's a thriving business. But the waiver program, I had to bring that part up, was through Posh. So at this time, I'd like to have Josh Mass come up to say a few words about the waiver program and what it meant to him and your business at that time. Josh. <coughs> I had to bring up the, the colonnade. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, thank you. 
Well, thank you very much. Um, you know, as the commissioner mentioned, uh, you know, Posh at the Scranton Club was uh, part of this program uh, because we are a restaurant banquet catering facility. We are a higher risk business, and therefore, um, this was a way with a waiver program to give us some extra capital um, and invest back in our business. And uh, you know, very interesting. I think it's 12 years ago. Actually, I think next week, Tim and I met for the first time, um, or actually it would be 11 years ago, because we're 10 years old at the Colonnade of being done, I think, but uh, about financing that. And uh, so, you know, I'm not originally from the area, my partner Paul is, but, you know, that's the great thing about Lackawanna County and the city of Scranton is there are a lot of partnerships um, in this community, a lot of people that give back, and uh, that's what's, you know, great about uh, working with multiple banks, but, you know, having this part of our uh, community and our county to help, um, you know, a small business because you know even though we employ over 50 people it's still uh, you know a small business and that little bit extra cash uh, cash flow helps uh, in those lean times so thank you very much Thanks, Jeff. thank Thanks. you I don't trip. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone for coming out please um, if you have a small business you're planning on expanding or you're planning on getting into a small business reach out to your bank and then reach out to Lackawanna County Economic Development. And we are here to work with you. We are here to help you. And we are here to make your business possible. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming out today.